The right wing lawmakers in the great state of Iowa are proposing legislation that would live stream educators and their classrooms in public schools to essentially attempt to intimidate the teachers. This is the ongoing manufactured culture war surrounding critical race theory and you know, the scary notion of teaching American history in public school classes. But one thing that these lawmakers probably didn't consider is that offering a live stream for all parents to watch throughout the day also creates an opportunity for perverts to watch mm -hmm. your children as they're in class in classrooms. Now, the purpose of the cameras would be to allow parents and guardians to view their children's classes via live stream. Republican State Representative Norlin Momsen, who apparently gets some sort of excitement out of this idea, sponsored the bill, which could force schools to set up cameras in all K through 12 classrooms, with the exception of physical education and special needs classes, according to the bill. Why are they making those exceptions? Also, if you're a parent, really, you're cool with people watching your kid throughout the day. It's not just you who would be watching the kid, your own kid. It would be anyone who has access to that live stream, other parents, other caretakers. Teachers and other school staff who fail to keep their cameras on or if they obstruct the view from the cameras could experience a 5% fine in their weekly salary. The right wing is also spinning this in weird, gross ways. The representative in Iowa who proposed this says, quote, I think we need to showcase the great work our teachers do, similar to a body camera on a policeman. A camera takes away the he said, he said, she said, or he said, he said type of argument and lets them know, hey, we are doing a good job. It takes the argument away. Now we know what this is really about. It's about surveilling teachers, intimidating teachers, making their lives even more difficult at a time when they're underfunded, underpaid, underappreciated, and overworked. And instead of using the resources necessary to buy these ridiculous cameras on things that students need, like the very supplies that the teachers are paying for out of pocket, they're like, no, no, we're gonna create this insanely creepy surveillance state because freedom. Yeah. No, this is textbook political correctness. Big Brother's watching. Mm -hmm. And uh, we told you not to teach history. Don't teach there was racism in America at all. God damn it, we caught someone teaching the fact that we that slavery existed and Jim, Jim Crow existed. It's, okay, send in the uh, shock troops, make sure they never teach the truth again. They cannot things that teach things that are factually correct. They must teach things that are politically correct. And so science is the perfect example. They did a war on history, they've done a war on science. We did a story at the end of last week. Oklahoma is considering banning, teaching things like evolution, a big bang theory, etc. You're, you're not allowed to teach things that are true. You cannot teach things that are factually correct. You must teach things that are politically correct. And so they're, they're thinking of fining you 10,000 teachers, $10,000 if they teach things that are factually correct. This is insanity. And overall, what is it? It's a war on teachers. Yeah. And like the bankers are ripping us off to no end. And we got a war on teachers? We got a war on teachers. You know why? Because bankers fund politicians. That's why they never get any thing done to them. By the way, under Republicans, Trump was awesome to the bankers. The bankers bankrolled them, they loved them, they were his top base, right? But Obama, same exact thing. In 2008, they were his top donors. And what did Obama do? His attorney general, Eric Holder, said that they were that the bankers were too big to jail. Mm. Too big to jail. They're above the law. But they're attacking teachers all across the country, monitoring them. Now to the absurd talking point about the police. The police, by the nature of their job, oftentimes have to use physical action against someone. Yeah, they make decisions pertaining to life and death, literal life and death. And sometimes it goes to tackling someone, putting them in cuffs, and sometimes it involves killing people. And so you need to have a second set of eyes on that to see if they made the right decision. If the teachers were killing their students, I'd say put cameras on, no question, okay? And by the way, the right wing also kind of wants that. Now you're gonna say, oh, Cenk, you've taken it too far. Of course they don't want that, actually they do. Remember their answer to gun violence in schools was, arm the teachers and teach them which student to shoot 
if there's a school shooting. Hey, oftentimes it's a current student or a former student, and then we should teach the teacher to spot which student might be the school shooter and have this teacher kill that student. So she's gotta be, she or he's gotta be the investigator, the sharpshooter, the underpaid educator. Uh, the person who has to follow all of these weird changing rules based on the sensitivities of right wingers who can't handle learning about this nation's history. I mean, and, and look, one of our audience members is asking, is are they just trying to get teachers to quit? And the answer is yes. Remember, the right wing in America does not believe in the right to an education. They have been underfunding education, public education, for as long as I can remember. And the reason why they do it, the reason why they'll take taxpayer money to fund vouchers so parents send their kids to private schools is because they wanna gut public education and ensure that only a private option is available to you. And for a lot of people, you're not gonna be able to pay for a private school for your kids. So what does that mean? Education for the elite, for the children of the elite, and the rest of you can buzz off. Your kids will be illiterate and that's exactly what they want. Yeah, look, if you've ever visited a plantation, I know the right wing says they didn't exist. But they did exist and you can go to them. The very first rule when I went to look was in the barracks, no slave is allowed to be educated. That was the cardinal rule. Now, I always found that ironic. What happened? I thought you said that they were not equal to white people and they were not fully human beings and they couldn't learn anyway. So why is it your first rule that they must not get an education? Because then people are harder to control because then they become free. They have free thought, they can take free action. And the right wing, despite all their propaganda about freedom, hates the concept, has always hated it. The teacher's not teaching the things I want. They're teaching facts and not my propaganda. And put cameras in there and fire the teachers and dock their pay. They must do as I tell them, not as the facts dictate, right? And that's what the right wing is, they hate freedom. And this is a disgusting attack on our teachers. And it's just creepy, it's super creepy. Remember, these cameras can be hacked into by various hackers. And I just, I can't imagine being a parent who feels comfortable knowing that all these randos get to watch my kid all day. Through no, a camera, it's, no, it's, it's creepy, it's creepy. Do you guys not realize how creepy this I is? I guarantee you if the Democrats proposed it, QAnon would be like, "Oh, we know why they proposed it, <laughs> right? Come on. All right, and by the way, sometimes teachers do terrible things that I, that of course, that we're enraged by, right? And they don't have to be political, but sometimes they are. Sometimes there'll be right wing teachers who'll say racist things, etc. Does that mean I want cameras? Still, I say no, because the price is too much to, to bear. Uh, both yeah. on the front that we were just talking about, but mainly on the nonstop nitpicking of all of the teachers to try to find one or two wrongdoers, right. right? Even in a best case scenario, let alone what the right wing actually plans to do, which is a witch hunt against teachers. Yeah, that's exactly right. One final uh, graphic for you because. They're very clear about what they're trying to do here. So the Nevada Family Alliance recently proposed placing body cameras on teachers to ensure they aren't teaching critical race theory. Of That's course. what this is about. That's all this is about. That's it. Period. And guys, critical race theory largely isn't taught. And the reason we tell you that is because it's not because it's some terrible thing that should never be taught. No, their whole intent is do not teach racism at all. Pretend we were never racist. That's insane. No, I'm not gonna send my kids to a school where they get taught Republican propaganda and fake history and fake science. No, we're gonna teach them actual facts. And if you don't like it, go sign them up for a private propaganda school. You've got plenty of those. And they'll brainwash your kids into being idiots. You'll be th thrilled. <laughs> my kids don't know any real facts. They only know the stuff we taught them. That isn't true at all. Well, and you could put all the private cameras you want and do whatever you want with that. But in the public schools, leave our kids and our teachers alone. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.